It's a seal suede and in this video I'm taking all through my two meals a day cutting diet for extreme fat loss So 2017 was the first time I implemented this two meals a day eating strategy and I got shredded I've been doing it every single year during this time in January after the holiday season when I want to lose fat fast So I know there's a lot of you guys looking for ways to accomplish your new year's resolutions this year When it comes to taking off all that holiday weight you gained and I really want to help you all do that in the most fun way possible And I promise this eating strategy is your go to to thing when it comes to enjoying being on a calorie deficit and dieting down for your New Year's resolutions. But look, if I can do this as a type one diabetic for over 23 plus years of my life, I promise every single one of you can lose fat fast, find a diet you enjoy and just feel confident about yourself and get in the best shape possible. So this is just the last chance for you to also get 30% off my shred program. You're gonna get your own diet plan. I show you exactly what to eat, when to eat it and how to make it as well with a workout program to lose fat faster, to hit your goal calories and max for us for the day. Check that link in the description box down below. I do want to mention as well that the Bro Cookbook is currently 50% off, so make sure you check that out if you want to get a cookbook with over 100 plus high protein recipes made with whole foods. It's going to make you feel really good every single day full of energy. So that is linked. Second thing in the description box down below. Check that all out. Take advantage of these last chance New Year sales. I promise they will help. Don't judge the cup, y'all. But look, there's two things that you need to get started with when it comes to the two meal a day diet. It's extremely important, so listen up. Number one is intermittent fasting. And then number two is water intake. So let me start with intermittent fasting. Do not take this to the extreme. A lot of people ask me when I talk about intermittent fasting, like, do I do a 24 split? Do I do a 16, eight split? All you have to do is simply just fast for the first few hours of your day. I don't look at it as like 16 hours counts as a fast or this is is what justifies a fast. No, I just wake up and I'm simply personally not hungry in the morning, so why in the world would I waste calories? And I feel like a lot of people in the world are the same way. We just think that breakfast is the most important part of the day, but there's no need to, you know, waste or chip away at your calorie deficit first thing if you're not hungry. Listen to your body, man. So practice intermittent fasting, aka wake up, let's say, at eight o'clock in the morning. Wait like four hours for your first meal. So eat at 12, or you know, if you wake up at nine, you know, wait till one o'clock. Anyways, guys, what I'll do is just drink a zero calorie natural caffeine like black coffee. There are so many benefits to black coffee. It is not even funny. Not only does it completely destroy your cravings or helps with appetite control, but I personally love how focused it keeps you when you're fasted. I think it's much better than like a zero calorie monster or something like that. Try black coffee over any kind of energy drink. And then also let's talk about the second thing, which is water intake. It is extremely important when you're doing any sort of fast, you have to increase your water intake. Okay. Your body will be more dehydrated, especially while you're drinking something like black coffee or any sort of zero calorie caffeine. I like to drink one of these as soon as I wake up. That's 24 ounces. And then I'll drink another like two of these while I'm fasted. So I'm about like half a gallon in by the time I have my first meal. And I'm about like two coffees in. Hopefully that makes sense. It will make your life so much easier and make this specific diet plan super effortless. Yup, check out that cup guys. I'm definitely that kind of guy and I'm proud of it. But today actually marks seven years. My girlfriend Jordan and I have been together. It literally feels like seven days. It's our seven year anniversary. So that's why I really wanted to pick up the camera and show you all exactly how my full day of eating is going to look like because we're eating out later today, obviously for a little celebration dinner. And uh, I implement this two meals a day eating strategy even after January or even post an extreme fat loss phase every single time I eat out because it just makes me save calories a lot easier and it makes me not gain fat when I do eat out. So that's just a tip there. This works even if you're not, you know, focused on losing fat. Oh my gosh, there she is. What's up? Seven long, long, long years. So meal number one is gonna consist of five simple ingredients. Listen up, we got whole eggs, egg whites, spinach feta chicken sausage. Also have some blueberries to put on top of the chocolate peanut broats we're about to make. You heard me right, guys, broats. This is my own protein oatmeal company that will be launching very soon. I'll keep you all updated in all the videos and vlogs. I'm so unbelievably excited for the whole world to get their hands on broats. It's got 30 grams of protein in one serving for oatmeal. And it's very, very 
delicious, super high volume and filling. You guys will see. But anyways, we're gonna put the blueberries on top of the broach. So there are three key things that I focus on meal number one for this specific diet. We focus on very high protein along with moderate carbs and moderate fats because this is gonna be a balanced meal. We don't need to take too much away from one macronutrient, but we are focused on high protein because it's ultimately gonna fill this up. And also it's gonna ensure we hit our protein goals for the end of the day. With only two meals, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So we have to make sure we ramp up the protein per meal. <laughs> Finally, meal number one is about to go down. We got ourselves a plate of the whole eggs and egg whites with the spinach feta chicken sausage, along with the magical bowl of chocolate peanut broats with blueberries on top. I cannot wait to get into this specifically. This meal is gonna consist of 74 grams of protein, very high protein in order to ensure we hit our protein intake goals for the day, which should be around 0.8 up to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. It really depends on your body fat level, how much muscle you have, et cetera, et cetera. But anyways, guys, that is it's gonna consist of meal number one. I'm gonna dig in. Let's go ahead and start with these eggs. We're gonna save the best for last, by far the best for last. Okay, I almost forgot y'all were there. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very hungry right now. But look, I didn't include any vegetables with this scramble because honestly, it really does not need more volume because of these groats. This is so unbelievably filling and uh, I don't wanna be extremely full and sluggish after this meal. So again, broats is gonna be not only high protein, but super, super filling and high volume. So if you want, you could add like zucchini, spinach, mushrooms, etc., whatever kind of vegetables you want to bulk up the meal even more. But I promise you, as soon as broats is out, you're not gonna need to like, bulk up your other food so much because this will definitely keep you full. Let's go ahead and give the broats a try with the blueberries. Look at that, look at that. Yup, thick squad approved. That is unbelievably good. And I know I'm biased here, but I cannot wait for you guys to try out the chocolate peanut broats. We also have maple brown sugar coming out as well. So those are gonna be the two staple flavors coming out when the company is finally launched. Hopefully in the next month or two, I'll keep you all updated in my videos and vlogs. So specifically the macros are gonna be 30 grams of protein, of course, along with 28 grams of carbs and six grams of fat, AKA 270 calories for just one bowl. So there's literally nothing else like this in the market. And it actually tastes amazing. We checked out all the other competitive protein oatmeal brands out there. And the highest we can find is 10 grams per serving. So this is three times the amount of protein. It tastes unbelievably good. And look at that texture. You're actually gonna feel like you're eating something other than just like mush for oatmeal. I'll keep you all updated on this. I'm gonna enjoy this meal and see you guys for the next strategy, which is gonna be at the gym for an epic workout. We got ourselves a fun day, man. I'm very excited I'm taking you all along. So I just got done with the back and shoulders workout. So just two quick notes here on the two meals a day diet eating strategy. You wanna make sure you don't train first thing in the morning when you wake up because it's really gonna ramp up your appetite and it's gonna be hard to stick to a fast. Anyways, what I like to do at the gym though after meal number one is just do simple exercises and progress to get stronger. So what we did for the back and shoulders today was super simple guys. There's literally four exercises. We did the dumbbell shoulder press and then we also did dumbbell lateral raises, super set it immediately with rear delt raises. And then after that, we did two simple back exercises. What I like to do for back is one pull down exercise and then one rowing exercise. So you guys saw with a lat pull down machine and then we also did dumbbell rows. That is a simple back and shoulders routine. Literally four different exercises with a super set. If you guys enjoy those workouts, you want a workout program custom to your diet plan. In order to get serious results this new year, remember, check out the Shred program. Click that first link, it's your box down below to get involved. I'll create you something that you're gonna love and you can actually stick to as a natural as well. When you're doing things as a natural, things are actually a lot more simple. You just stick to basic shit, get it done, get stronger and keep progressing. So I'm back from the gym and it's time for the next eating strategy 
for this two meals a day diet. So what I always do post-workout is have a scoop of protein powder. I don't think I have enough protein. In all seriousness, guys, I do this for two specific reasons. Well, first of all, I'm about to eat out for dinner. Jordan and I are going out to celebrate our seventh anniversary together. It's been seven long years. It literally <laughs> has felt like seven days, man, as I mentioned before. But we're gonna have a good time. That's why I'm doing this video. But it's a specific eating strategy what I like to do for the two meals a day diet is I'll have a scoop of protein powder, something high protein, little to no fat and carbs, which is the impact of protein. By my protein, it is perfect. Salted caramel flavor, literally my favorite. A lot of you guys ask me what my favorite flavor is, it is definitely up there, top three. So I'll leave this link in the description box down below. Make sure you use that code CLVAP at checkout to get 40% off your entire order. You'll not get better prices for supplementation. Anyways, I like to do one scoop of protein after my workout because two reasons. Number one, it really reduces my appetite like post-workout when you're only eating two meals a day it's gonna start to really ramp up right like that big meal is gonna fill you up but after you work out you do some cardio post weight training your appetite's gonna ramp up so this suppresses it yet again and also reason number two it increases that protein intake so you hit protein macronutrient goal for the day because it's really important it's really hard to do with literally just two whole meals you don't want to eat like 100 grams per meal one 100 grams per meal two you're not gonna feel that great one scoop right over here we're gonna go out to dinner see you guys there Okay guys, so currently out for dinner for meal number two of the day, aka the final meal of the day. We're here at a place called North Italia in Houston, Texas. We got a massive meal, man. Check this out. We got two massive chicken breasts, and uh, obviously they're very high calorie because it's more of like chicken thighs, has lots of fat in it, but obviously lots of protein as well. Sweet potatoes on top, lots of vegetables, but this is a type of meal that I will order out. So try to make it a little bit more higher fats and higher protein and lower Lower carb. Because I'm telling you right now, here's a huge tip when you're following the two meals a day diet and eating out with this specific eating strategy. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to like eat low fat, like very low fat. Just take the more realistic approach of eating more higher fats, higher protein, and much lower carbs. So that is exactly what I'm gonna eat for meal number two, along with some wine because I'm feeling fine. Enjoying this seven year celebration with Jordan. But anyways guys, hopefully this video is really helping you all out, understand why I'm eating the things I'm eating and structuring the way I'm eating eating these things throughout the day. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This is what happens when you eat two meals a day. I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, I'll see you all back at home. How is it? Amazing. <laughs> Okay guys, so I wanna be a little bit more personal this year with my content about my type one diabetes. So this is literally what I do. Like I have my shots in my girlfriend's purse and I uh, take my shot before I eat. Look man, we all got our own shit in life. You gotta deal with the cards you're dealt with, right? For me, it just happens to be pulling out shots of insulin from my girlfriend's purse. All right, guys, let me tell you one thing that was amazing. If you're in Houston, go check out North Italia and order that Tuscan chicken dish. But look, I'm back at home. It's time to end off the final thing I do for this two meals a day eating strategy. And that is to have another scoop of impact whey protein just to make sure I hit my protein intake goal for the day, which is typically around 180 grams of protein for me daily minimum. Anyways, guys, that is going to equate to probably around like 22, maybe at most 2300 calories because meal number one, you guys saw with the brooks and that egg chicken sausage scramble that was a little over 700 calories a scoop of protein that was 100 calories the impact way and then that dinner was around like 1200 maybe 1300 calories plus another 100 calories worth of protein that is perfect for me i can aggressively lose body fat for extreme fat loss and the two meals a day diet allows me to go out and enjoy my life again even if i'm not focused on extreme fat loss diet and i'm even like maybe even bulking or just normally losing body fat at a slow pace i like to implement this outside of a normal day of eating when I'm going out with friends and family because it makes it so freaking easy to not feel guilty about it. Thank you so much for coming out with me and hanging out with not only me, but Jordan and I's <laughs> seventh anniversary. It was great. I really hope you all enjoyed this two meals a day video. If you did, make sure you smash the like button on this YouTube video right now if you want to see more two meals a day eating vlogs on the weekends because typically this is when I do this kind of eating strategy on the weekends. And then of course, if you are new to my YouTube channel, man, subscribe right now. There's so much content 
content to come to really help you excel your fitness goals. If I'm a type one diabetic for 23 plus years and I can achieve what I can do, I promise you can as well. And look, if you need help, take advantage of those New Year's sales. Go check it out, all in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see every single one of you in the next video.